Mel, sit the fuck down. Here, let me hold the drink. This is so dangerous, and it's hot in here. I know, it's so many computers and technology. You're Come on. not a good Come leader. On this way. What? I literally walked into the couch. You, you stubbed your toe with leader. shoes on. I'm a great leader. Oh, don't make this a competition, buddy. Take right, right. I'm put, I'm moving you over. <laughs> oh, you act like you just got down blind for real. You don't got no sense of direction. Yeah, with my hands. Can I have a drink, please? Don't throw it in my hand. Wait, she can't Here. see me. No, my eyes are closed. Wait, where her blindfold at? Her blindfold's on. So why why her eyes closed? My eyes are dead open right now. What? Anyway. The they said move the camera, camera a little bit. Be yeah, like, move okay, the wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I got that, it. I got yeah, it. Fuck that iPad, dead ass. What do you mean, fuck the iPad? That's <laughs> perfect. I got it perfect. Oh my daddy, on my thumb. All right, I got it perfect now. Chat, is that good? I should have saw this first to see what my angle is looking like. Good one. You good? You good? Is everybody's eyes blindfolded in the room besides you, Richard? Yeah, it's only you and him. I thought you said his. Manager or something? His editor. Nah, he's he's in his room. Oh, that's fucking lame. What the hell? I thought he was gonna be here too. I mean, well, he, he is. He is lame. So fuck it. No, fuck him. Don't talk about SW like that in my life. Fuck him. I'm just kidding. Um, everybody, like different in front of the girls, huh? Everybody in the chat, excuse my voice. I've been working all weekend, so I'm hoarse. So do not come to me in the comments. Or I'll check you after this. Okay. So what do you mm. do? What do you do for work? I'm a bartender. I like the bartender. Ooh, if you're looking for. Okay, so y'all go ahead and get to know each other. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Do y'all. Shit, how you doing? Fine, how you doing? I'm doing good. Um, What's your name? Uh, Melt. Melt. M-E-L-T. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like a patty melt? Like a what? <laughs> like. Like a patty melt. M-E-L-T. Yeah. You know like what I'm saying? Yep. Melt. Um, so what's your highest level of education? You don't even know my name. What's your name? My name is Jordan Aaliyah, and I go by Juicy. Mmm. Okay, I like that. Asking me my highest level of education, you don't even know my name. Yeah, my fault. First, let's address oh. how you relate to this date. Let's address that. How I relate? Let's address how you were late okay. to this date. So basically, I'm going to put you on. So before you guys actually got here or even called during that time, me and Richard were fighting. I had beat his ass. So bad that I, I had to help him up. He was crippled. His arm was hurting really bad. This is all cap. This is all cap. Okay. All right. I mean, seriously, this is our first date. So. Right, right. We, we got to be honest with each other, right? Yeah. Right. I can't fuck with liars. Okay, I understand. Mm. I'm not a liar. You know what I'm saying? You just lied. Okay, so so why you so on his dick? Why you on his dick? Why you on his dick? Because you clearly think I can't be his ass. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm just saying... Let's start fresh. Let's, cause I know that, that didn't happen. Understood. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here. I appreciate Chat, that. Thumbs up or thumb down? We good? Um. Mm -hmm. So like, can you just keep Does it? Does it sound good? Me? Everything? Y'all keep going. Keep going. All right. I'm not here. Um. Can you keep it a stack with me, like? So yeah. you're from New York? Oh uh, no, nah, I'm from Maryland. Okay, Maryland, but somewhere up top. Keep it a stack. Yeah, yeah like PG okay. County. Okay. Where, where you from? I'm from Texas. Mmm. Okay. So it's homegrown for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of like a natural guy. Like, I like my girl. Like, she look good naturally. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Type shit. Um, but yeah, though, like, what do you, you say? You do a bartender? Yeah, I'm a bartender, but I'm an R&B artist. I sing. Mm. That's my passion. But you know, I gotta do something to pay the bills. So. Nah, bartender. I could start paying your bills soon. <laughs> like that ass. But shit. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Okay. Um, I, I'm a content creator, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. this is what I do. I love doing this. Uh, unfortunately, you know, my other source of income right now is not looking too good. You know, I have an OnlyFans, but I just gave my life to Christ. <laughs> so I stopped posting on there. Um, and then I have another, you know, uh, I have a business, a nonprofit for homeless children. I thought we said we, we weren't going to lie. Richard, am I lying? <laughs> nah, he ain't lying. Like, I didn't say that you were. I'm just... Stating the fact because you just was talking about OnlyFans and you gave your life to Christ and now we're on a nonprofit for children. Like, so I just wanted to make sense. I mean, he's a he's a well rounded guy. Okay. That's that's all that means. Very well rounded. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And how old are you? I'm twenty twenty six. Okay. You. <laughs> <laughs> how old you is? If you don't mind me asking. 
I'm 25. Mmm, so we right. 25, right maybe. Oh, yeah, you 25 for sure. 25. I can hear it in your voice. I feel like um, your voice is different, but I like it. It's raspy right now. This is not how it sounds. Oh, it's not? Like, no, I just said that I was working for three days, so I'm just kind of exhausted. Mm. This is not how it sounds on a regular. I kind of sound like a, a nigga right now. It's very deep. You sound like a what? A nigga. Because my shit is deep. It's raspy right now. What are you, white? No. You're black? Yeah. So you are a nigga. What the fuck? I'm saying a man. I'm, oh, not, you sound like a... It's oh. not feminine. Oh, type shit. Type yeah. shit. No, I like it, though. Thank not, you. No homo. You feel no, me? No, I've gotten a lot of compliments on my voice when it's raspy, mm. but I don't like when it's raspy. All right, so explain, some, explain something. Like, yeah. I think it's fucking hot. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that's just because you have a lot of skin on you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. What? Um. Anyways. Shut uh, the fuck up, Groot. All right, so do you have do you have any hobbies? Um, no, I don't. I don't think that I have real hobbies. No, I, I like to do you know regular shit. I'm very spontaneous, but hobbies no. So how the fuck are you spontaneous when you don't like to do anything? I didn't say I don't like to do anything. I said I don't feel like I have real hobbies. Oh, type shit. I mean, singing is so a hobby. So you're not a good listener. Singing is a hobby. I That's not I was a hobby listening for me. Oh, it's not. A, it's a I'm job. I'm an artist. That's what I love. That's my passion. So it's not a hobby. Never mind. Hobby is something that you do for fun on a whim, like whatever. And I don't do singing for fun. It's something that I actually love to do, and I'm great at it. Yes. So it's not a hobby. You know I can sing too. No, I didn't know. I can sing. I, I can, you know what I'm saying, hit a little note in my cap. Okay, anyways. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, like, are you, like, athletic? Like, what you, like, what you be getting into? You got? Um, I'm not athletic. I was an athlete in school. What you do? I did basketball and I did volleyball and a little bit of track. But when year you graduate? Twenty sixteen. Damn. Um, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like, how old did you say you were? Huh? How old did you say? I'm twenty six. Okay, so why did you say damn like that? Just because, like, it's so close, like. Oh. Uh, Cause you know. Sometimes that reaction doesn't happen when it's so mm-hmm. close. Maybe like when it's a little bit under, a little bit over. But you like you like the dress. Like get dressed and go mm-hmm. out. Like fashion type shit. Yeah, I like fashion. That's good. I fuck with that. Period. But I, right, like, so, I like what works for me. It doesn't have to be too flashy. It doesn't have to be too casual. Whatever I like, whatever's comfortable for me. Mm, and I do that. I like that. I rock whatever. So I'm going to be real, right? Richard, I hope you know you're like the worst host I've ever had. Uh, How am I the worst host? Because you're supposed to be giving us questions, Richard. Okay, I was about to. I was letting y'all do y'all. We were trying to get no, to know no, each other is, first. We, we're no, gonna, no, listen, no, no, no. I'll let y'all I love know. you. Love Listen, you too. You, I'll let okay. y'all do y'all thing so for a second, gang. I swear I was about to. Don't kick because my drink is right here, okay? Here, no. just hand it to me. Just hand it to me. Okay. Hand it to me. I'm, I'm right here. I'm ready for I'm you. Right here. You don't mind here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be your fucking personal hand. I'm trying to hand. tighten my blindfold, but I'm trying Okay, okay. I got. Um, no, we're going to explain it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to explain it. Okay, so. Let me we, because you don't know nothing about Girl, us. girl, don't even do that, sister, because they don't even care about all of that. They just want to know what's going on. What? So look, so chat, we have this, uh, we have this, this card, this card game with, it's called Tonight's Conversation. So Shout out to Tonight's Conversation, even though they're not sponsored. Ah, uh, El Promo, we don't care. Shout so, out to Tonight's Conversation, like so I said. So shout out to Tonight's Conversation. So. This is a card game that sparks up controversial uh, opinions and questions. For couples. So, for couples, right? To get to know one another. To get to know one another, okay? So, and, and you know, me and her actually play, uh, the first card sparked up a great conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to ask each of you a card. I'm going to ask each of you a card, and, uh, and we'll figure out what you guys think. You know what I mean? So, all right, so boom. What side is the camera on? Uh, it's kind of like, right. it's kind of like, look, look, like, 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 no, like, ahead of you that way. No, no, no. Look, look. Tia oh, hold on, let me turn your head. Let me turn your head. That way. It's right here. Right here, yeah. Wait, what did you just do? Blew the kiss. Oh my God, you just kissed a thousand fucking people. Hi. How do you feel? Hi. All right, all right, so. I just wanted to know. Okay, Mel, I got a question mm-hmm. for you first. So. Actually, I'm going to start with a question for both of y'all. Then I'm going to like find questions that I feel like is more directed towards a man and one that's more directed towards a woman. That's okay? not right, but okay. Huh? That's mm-hmm. not right? No. What, the oh. Woman, oh, the woman oh. first. What happened? Not the one, what? I'm sorry. Oh. I don't know how close or how far. Y'all are really close. Y'all I'm are really sorry. close. 
Like if you spit, it'll definitely connect. <laughs> what? Whoa. All right, all right. I'll ask the woman first. That's what it is. I know, right? Because you want me to ask the woman first. That's fine. Okay, so um, this question is for both of y'all. Your significant other tells you that they were close as possible to physically cheating, but you thought, but thought of you and came home. What's the first thing you say to them? Um, Juicy, I will let you start first. Um, the first thing that I would say, I'm going to say like, you got me fucked up on my daddy, on my thumb. Well, that's not what I would say. That's okay. what you were saying. Okay, baby, baby, my bad. Go ahead. I'm honestly thinking and going to give an honest answer. Uh -huh. I will honestly, I will honestly go off, like start cussing them out because I would be hurt and I would let them know that I was yeah, hurt. I, mean, I would let them know that. Read my chat, man. I would let them know that I was appreciative that they didn't go through with it, but I don't know if I if we would be able to come back from it. Cause if you're were, that if you're that close to cheating on me, mm -hmm. I can't I can't understand or or fathom how many more times it's gonna happen. So uh, I don't know. I couldn't say that we would break up right then, but cause I'm a very understanding person. Like sometimes it's my downfall, and I I don't, I don't know I don't know. I don't know. I, I definitely am gonna cuss you out and get get you to fuck like together. Mm -hmm. But what would happen or what would be the outcome? I don't know. Okay, great. My so turn. No, what? Yeah, your turn. Uh, question again. Okay, your significant other tells you that they He's were. He's not as, a good listener. I your, your significant other tells you that they were as close as possible to physically cheating, but thought of you and came home. What's the first thing you say to them? Well, I was close as possible to punching her and shit. In GTA. Who are you talking to? You talking to me? No, 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 no. Uh, no, I was. Why would I ever do that? I don't know. I, the way you responded, I didn't know. Was, you just trying to grab my leg? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Just Type shit. shit. All right, next question. All right. So you would tell her that you're close to punching her in her shit, and that would be it. Yeah, but I wouldn't actually do it. No, I know. Because I would saying, never put my hands on a woman ever. I'm just saying that would be it, though. Yes. Do you not know what the outcome would be? Like, would you leave her? Would oh, no, no. Her? Okay, so I'll probably just have a conversation. And I'll be like, you know, uh, why the fuck would you tell me that? Like, if you didn't cheat on me, why the fuck would you tell me you wanted to? Like, what the fuck are you it trying to do? It wasn't a matter head? of her wanting to, but she was being vulnerable and honest with you. You wouldn't appreciate that? Uh, sometimes things are better unsaid. So you are the type of person that believes in what you don't know won't hurt you? Yes. Okay. I believe in that, not going to lie, because it's a lot of things you don't tell people because you know it's going to hurt them. Yeah. All right. But honesty is always the best. Yeah, I'm going to keep it a bean, but if I don't have to, like, I just be like, all right, bet. I feel like, in my opinion, people respect you more because <laughs> I'm <clouded. laughs> you're being honest. All right, so look, so look, so look, can I tell you something? Of course. All right, so say we go to the club, right? And it's a, and it's a, and it's a couple in front of us, right? But the female's ass fat as shit. And I clearly know that her ass is fat as shit. You gonna want me to tell you? Oh yeah, damn, her shit fat as fuck. I mean, we will both know because I love fat asses, especially mm. natural. So you love your fucking girl. Wait, do you go both ways? Huh? Do I go both ways? Uh huh. <laughs> I love women. I'm not a. I'm not a lesbian. Let me let me say this. I'm not a lesbian because, in my opinion. I feel like lesbians love all girls, all different kinds, all different types. But I'm picky with mine. Mm. So I'm picky with mine too. It just depends. Lie. But I do love women. Mm. I, like I find that. them very attractive. I like that. And if I see a girl in the club and I think she's fine, I'm going to walk up to her and I'm going to tell her. Mm. And she's probably going to approach me first because bitches love me too. All the hoes love juice. Ooh, but see, that, I ain't going to lie. You, that was riz. I ain't going to lie. You might have just riz me up because... It's just facts. It's just facts. It's not on no cocky shit. It's the most humble. I can't wait to see what you look I, like. I love women. I can't wait to see what and you look like. And they love me. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you look like. But I love men, baby. Don't get it twisted. Dick is number one. Mm -hmm. But, you know. I All right, speaking of dick, them. right? What's too small? What's too small? Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, man. This is a, I'm not going to say it. It's so crazy. Just be real. Just I don't be know. real. I've never really, like, experienced a small dick. So I don't know. I would say five inches. I think. I think five is too 
or not two, but five is small. I've heard of very, very small dicks though, like two inches type shit, like Thailand type shit. But I've never experienced. <laughs> Y'all know this room too well. Is he blindfolded for real? Yes, bro. Cause you just smacked the door and he, uh, the wall, and he just smacked it too, right? No, bro. I'm just like, bro. Oh. He, yeah, he's he's blindfolded, bro. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You said two inches is too small. I think, yeah. Oh, my. That would be too small for me. Richard, calm down. I'm sorry. <laughs> you fucking little dick. <laughs> All right, this I was born this way. <laughs> Lady Gaga, shout out to you. <laughs> Anyways. Can I right. have my drink, Richard, please? I don't yeah. feel like asking you for no, my no, drink. You're like, fine, it's, you're not, fine. it's not really It's all a joke. I don't have a two inch dick. Um, I, I really, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, Richard, next question because I really want to get to know you when I'm looking you in your eyes. Like, for real. Uh, shut the fuck up and accept this blind date. I want to know what the comments are saying. Like, how the people are feeling about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't yeah, give yeah. a fuck about the comments right now. I want to hear what you got okay, to say. Okay, you can definitely get to. We're on a blind date, so <laughs> you should be getting to Somebody time. said five inches. Fuck! <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, I barely made the cut. But okay. I think five or six is the average though, right? That's what people yeah. say. Yeah. How chat that how, five yeah, or Richard, six? Richard, how chat fucking with it? They fuck with this shit? They fuck they fuck with it. You know, chat just be talking a lot of shit because they're all bitches and I'll so spit on them. I have a question just a side just mm -hmm. a sidebar for the chat. Uh -huh. What is the average size dick? Is it five, six inches? Is it seven, eight? Is it three, four? What is it? And, and let me know what they're saying. Cause I don't know. I'm, this is just what <laughs> to my knowledge, I feel like it's Five, six. They said three is big. Oh man. Five to six. It's six. Six uh, to I five to six. There, mo mo honestly, a lot, some people are trolling, but most people are saying five to six is average. Yeah, so you should. What are the trolls saying? The trolls are saying, "I got three just for you, babe. I got, I got a good three for you, maybe four. All right, so look. So nine. Look. I have nine. I have nine. Somebody said I have nine sixteen fucking times. But I don't give a it. fuck about they dick size, bro. I mean, right. I don't care. I, I just wanted so to know look. what the average size was. I don't yeah, they're saying is. five to six is the average. So okay. look, so look, like, what's three things you look for in a nigga, though? Um, well, three things that I look for in a man. Mm. Um, Come on, tell your proper ass shit. For one, he definitely needs to be God fearing, cause I that's just that's just me. Hold on, can I say something on his behalf? No, because he asked me a question that I'm gonna answer, and then you can say something on his behalf. He has to be God fearing. I definitely need honesty. I'm big on that. And then um, the third thing would have to be if this is something that you would want, that you need to show it. Say it and show it and prove it. Like effort is a big thing for me. So, so I don't want to just hear that you want me or you want to date me or whatever. I need to feel it. Oh, I got a good fucking question. So look, so looks don't matter. Of course they do, but you asked me the three things. Those are the top three that I look for. Oh, all right. I, I'm not looking for a man, but whenever someone approaches me or if I feel like I like someone, yeah, uh, physical is the, the first thing that you see. But when you get to know somebody inside and out, those are the things that I look for. Those are the things that I want. All right. <laughs> so uh, what is the question? Oh, I was just going to say you want a man that's God-fearing. So Mel actually does, uh, and this is not a joke, Mel actually does a prayer call with his family every Monday. Uh, for at eight o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, correct? Mm -hmm. I missed it today, though. You missed it today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I'm, love that though. I'm sad. That's amazing. Right. Your family is not here where you are. No, I moved. I moved out of the crib at, at a young age. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, I was in school, but I had dropped out of college like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, during that time, you know, I just became independent because my parents thought it was only one way. Right. And I told him, like, it's a million ways you can One make One way money. is not your way. Yeah, exactly. So, <clears throat> There's nothing you know wrong what I'm saying? That. I've been independent, hashtag independent for a long time. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? I've been I, I've been loving it up, bossed up. You know what I'm saying? Prayer call is amazing. That's great. Thank you. I love that for you. We could do a prayer call. I would love that. I need more prayer. Mm. Richard, what's the question? A woman? Okay, great. You guys ready for the next question? Mm -hmm. How, let me ask y'all this. How y'all feeling about each other thus far? Type shit. I like his voice. Oh, you I've, do? I've always wanted to talk to somebody or date somebody from up north. I love the swag. I love the accent. I love the the confidence. Motherfuckers always think that I'm from up north just because of how I am. But baby, I'm from down south. Don't get it twisted, baby. Fuck Houston, you Texas, and this motherfucker. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Real southern man. All right, how you feel about her so far, Mel? I mean, I fuck with her. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think she knows how to have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, I feel like she got some substance to her. Um, and I'm just praying I fuck with her appearance. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you don't got to pray, honey. The fact that he said praying, I love yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that's Just keep good. praying, baby. They're going to be filled. Mm. Your prayers will be answered. All right. A woman is married to a man who's not her child's biological father. So she's got a stepdaddy, right? Mm -hmm. He leaves because she will not let him discipline the child who's wrong. Who's going to email you can answer this one? Uh, I'm going to be real. I feel like the mother's wrong. You know what I'm saying? It's already hard enough for that stepfather to step into a situation where he kind of has to take care of another woman's children. Mm -hmm. So it's only right for him to be able to discipline that child, mm -hmm. especially when there can be circumstances where she is not there, she is not in the room. And when ch children are acting bad, they need to be disciplined, simple. Mm -hmm. And I feel like tough love is better than no love. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day... Smoking on lotion? Um, at the end of the day, I feel as though, you know, there's a limit to certain things that he can do because he's right. not the child's father. Right. But in it's terms gone. of in terms of discipline My and period. Baby is gone. What happened? My baby's gone. Oh, I just found it. It had must have fell. You oh, get on my nerves. Oh, oh you vape? Yeah, I do. I shouldn't. That's a and red I flag. need to stop. That's a red flag. I understand that. It is. It's okay though. You it know is. Money Crazy J, suck my dick. All it's right. not okay if it's a red flag. But um, go I ahead know. and finish your statement. Um, but yeah, though, like honestly, I feel like the father, the stepfather, is in the right to discipline that child regardless because parental guidance. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said. Is 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 is. <laughs> not, somebody, it, somebody said she needs a vape to get I, I would, shit. Let me finish because I'm spitting right now, bro. All right, gang. Go I'm ahead. fucking spitting. I know the chat is saying I'm spitting, bro. So look. Anyways. Yeah, Chess say you fucking yapping, but keep going, buddy. Um, anyways, I feel as though that father stepping in or that stepfather step stepping into the situation, he will be doing them uh, like wrong if he didn't discipline that child. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you completely. Cause um I come from a broken home, so I have a stepfather. Mm. And my mom was really big on, you know, if you love me, you have to love my child. <laughs> so yeah. Love comes with the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. So if I'm misbehaving or whatever the case may be, it is his right to discipline me as long as the mother and the father are on the same page. Sorry, which I would say the husband and the wife because he's not technically my biological father. But definitely there's there's levels to it. Mm -hmm. But him being able to discipline a child, most definitely. Because if y'all are a unit, y'all have to be on the same type of terms, the same grounds, everything else. It makes sense. Like, if you're not willing to let your... The, but the question that you asked, I don't know if you left any parts out, but... No, I said it completely. Okay. So it didn't say whether the mom didn't want him to discipline her, but if the father chooses to leave, I'm assuming, I guess, that the mom didn't want him to uh, discipline yeah, the Yeah, it said, it said the, mo the, the, the man mother. leaves because... The, see, you don't listen. The fuck are you talking about? No, I do listen. The, all right, so listen. So, so listen must, up. That's why I said you must listen. No, I didn't leave it out. Okay, yeah. so why don't you just repeat Well, you do have a again. blindfold over your ears, so I'll give you that. Fuck that. Listen, don't talk to me like that, okay? Repeat it from the beginning, I'm please. a privileged white man in Go the Go ahead. Bed. Okay, so... Fuck that. So, okay, that's fine. So, it says the... the, the uh, the man left the woman because she refuses to let him discipline the child. Okay. So, she was definitely in the wrong. Because for one, like I said, they weren't on the same page. You cannot expect your man to become your husband, move in with you or y'all together, and you have kids, whether they're everybody's or whatever the case may be, and you're not letting, like what? He has to be the father. You have to step up. Like, there's no way that your child is going out here wilding in school, fucking with the boys or whatever the case may be, and you're not letting the man be a man. Mm. So she's she's wrong. Type of shit. She's wrong. Okay. All right, so that's the last part. The, do y'all want that? I was yes, yes, say. yes. Now, was, there's a whole deck. We can, you and me can still talk, but I yeah, would love exactly. for these questions to get inserted. Because exactly. they're good questions. They are good questions. Because that's how we're going to get to know each okay, other. Okay, I'm going to count from three. Views. I'm going to count from three, and you two can both take your blindfolds off. Ready? <laughs> no, are we done? No, well, no, no, no. Y'all are going to continue with the date, but... I know, but I like the blindness. Okay. It's suspense. Okay. Ask well, the motherfucking chat. Do y'all want to chat, take the blindfolds chat, off chat or been, no? Chat has been spamming blindfolds off. Oh, chat, blind, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Not yet, though. Chat, 
Chat, take it off, yes or no? Run a poll, mods, please. Can one of the mods run a poll, please, so we can truly know? Because some people spam the same shit over and over, and it's hard to tell. So can, can the mods please run a poll? Do we take the blindfolds off our, uh, at, at this mods? point in time, yes or no? Yes. What's a mod? A mod is a moderator. That's somebody okay. that can create a poll. Take it off. No. Yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah, it's, it's 60 to 20. 74 to 24. Take it off now. 84 to 24. Okay. So yeah, it's the answer is yes. They want them to take it off. All right. So put your cup down. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to count from three. No. Mel needs to take no, 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 off No, 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 no. Keep yours. Oh, oh so Mel, Mel take takes his off first. That's what I say. Because I run this shit. Mel take your shit off first. I see shadows, so it means it's already off, right? Because yeah. you're standing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's already off? Uh, yep. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. You can take yours off. Wait, Was should I count down? Count it, yeah, okay. Three, two, one. It's take it down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn. My eyelashes. They fucked you up? Maybe because my eyes were closed for so long. Animation my shit is right, cause wait, I'm not gonna be having me fucked up on this camera. Ju Juicy, can you can you give the camera a spinny spin spin? Yeah, after I make sure my eyes is right. Oh. My lashes are all flat. Here, here, you wanna reach it? I got you, gang. Here you go. I'm finna put my toxic glasses on, cause y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> Ooh, this is a whole setup, baby. Hello. Where's the camera? Am I looking at it? Oh, it's right here. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. <laughs> you pre gap. <sighs> she left, the other girl. She left? I think so. How you know? I think you just got the text. Huh? I heard all your roots, sure. <laughs> Man, that's tough. Oh, Lord. That's tough. Oh, damn. Okay. She wasn't she giving nothing. She wasn't giving nothing anyway. Mm. Okay, so like after seeing me, like, do you feel like I matched the description? Well, I didn't get a description of you, but it makes sense. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I I fuck with that. Uh, so we usually would just go off and rate each other. You mm -hmm. feel me? Just because I feel like that's a childish question. But I think it's necessary. <laughs> Rating is retarded. I think it's necessary though. Why? Because it will give me. Matter of fact, it's cool. I don't even need to, cause I could just, off the strength, mm -hmm. say you look good. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I think you look good. But, how you feel? Yeah, you look good too. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So you a dreadhead or? No, I'm oh. not. I just, I just style my hair like this. Ah. Uh. I do different styles. It changes, it switches up. The color stays the same. I'm a redhead. Mm. But the styles change. Okay. Got you, got you. I'm got not you. the girl that likes to do the weaves and the wigs. Mm. I'm more like protective style. Okay. Because I have hair. I'm yeah. not um, a chicken head. And there's nothing wrong with the chicken heads mm. for girls that don't have hair. Because I've been bald before. I shaved my hair really low and had the curly, like natural. But I'm more of a natural girl. Okay. Understood. Understood. <laughs> You're not drinking. This your drink? Yeah, I'll drink. Okay. But one I'm thing, one thing, like I will say is that I'm not a drinker. Like You're a smoker. Like no, I'm neither. Oh, you this, know what I'm this saying? Is the I just asked. Cause right now, like I feel like when I drink, it take me away from me grinding. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm in that stage where I'm trying to get to it. Mm -hmm. So like I will drink occasionally on some fun shit, mm -hmm. but for the most part, I, I really don't drink. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I can't fuck with the blindfold shit, though, y'all. I can't lie, because my eyes are still trying to adjust. Uh-huh. It's not like having your eyelids closed. It's, like, different. And that shit be covering your shit. It's fucked up. So, yeah. And you know what's crazy? I've seen you before. I've seen her. You've seen me? Yeah, I've seen her at the club or something. Was it the club? Mm-mm. You saw her when uh, we was just at Revolt World. I had the money bag shit. Oh, that's where you seen her at. And she stopped by. She knew who I was. Mm. I recognized his face. Mm, okay. When I spoke to him. I don't remember seeing you. But so yeah, I was there. So chat the girl, the other girl that was supposed to come, like when she was walking up, 
she was crying. I didn't know what for. And I'm like, damn, what's wrong? So apparently, like, her little sister had, like, hit her and gave her the news that their parents announced that they're getting a divorce. So she's like, and her parents have been together her whole life. Holy fuck. So she just got the news that her parents were getting the work. So we can't really say ill girl. She's just like going through too much. I don't give a fuck. It's like, no, I'm sorry. She's just overwhelmed. That was too far. Yeah, she that was so insensitive cool. of you. I know. I'm sorry. But she wasn't really, you know, going to give you the vibes that I'm giving you. No way. Before she knew that, it just was giving um. Hey, 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 you don't have to shit on anybody else to make yourself look good. I'm not talking about myself. I was oh. just giving my perception of her whenever I first met her. Like, I just, okay. It just was giving dit so. Okay, talk your shit then, my bad. Bimbo. But all she I got to say is, you know, first impressions are everything. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you got a good first impression. You don't smell bad. Your teeth is nice. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I just feel like you giving Georgia peach vibes because that's the color. I think that you look good it's in this because color. because it's orange? No, this is the Georgia peach color. Am I right or wrong? It is the Georgia peach color. It's yep. the color of a peach. And it's, so I wouldn't just say Georgia. I am from Texas. I don't claim to be a Georgia uh, Oh, Georgia. okay, okay. Understood. Yes, yeah, so I'm a Southern Belle. Okay. That's what I am. Southern but I appreciate Belle is the a... Georgia peachness because this is like peach, orange, whatever the case may be. We're getting ready to go into a spooky season. It's orange for Halloween. Chat said you're a fucking smart ass. I have to agree, chat. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. I mean, we can fight. I I feel like I'm more of a jackass than a smart ass. Period, sister. But yes. uh, Can somebody fucking sub? What the fuck? Do you, do you, a subscription. Okay. Um, But do you like drink often? I am a drinker. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, I am a drinker. Do I'm you, a bartender, so it right. just comes to the territory. You but smoke? I was drinking before I was bartending. I'm not that much of a smoker, but edibles, I love them to death. Shrooms, mm. oh, that's my favorite drug. So, like, have you ever had a bad trip? I can't say that I've had a bad trip. I'm scared of taking shrooms. Or like I can't say edibles. that I've had a bad I feel like with shrooms, it's different because it's more, you go through all of them. Chat said they love shrooms, too. Shrooms are my favorite guys, like especially during concerts. I don't really like to take them outside. I like to do them in the house, but yeah. at concerts they're my favorite. But that's my favorite drug. I don't really care for the weed and all the other bullshit. I'm good on that. But alcohol is my favorite drug. Okay. Okay. They they've been asking yeah. for, they've been oh, okay. asking for more card questions. They really like. Let's do game. it. Okay. Y'all ready? Yes. Let me swallow my cheeses. So it says. You got something to drink? Mm-mm. No bad. No bad. It says your significant other has an opposite sex best friend who likes them romantically. Your significant other reasons that it's okay to remain friends because the feelings aren't mutual and nothing inappropriate has happened. Do you agree and explain? So like my. I'm gonna go ahead and who say fuck you were no. Who po- said you was gonna? Either one of y'all was gonna answer first. Why don't, since they want the questions so bad. I'm the host, okay? I don't care about I'm that. running this fucking show. You don't even have a chair. Mm. I don't care about that. What does that even so, mean, sister? So you're going to answer What those. it means is, I didn't say I was going to answer first. I'm just saying, let them. Because I just want the chairs. I don't really like being interrupted. I hate it so much. And both of y'all is on like that energy, real aggressive. But I feel like since y'all want to have the card questions, that y'all should decide who answers first. It only is right. It's the only thing that makes sense. Yes. So who's going to answer this question first? Who? Maybe you should repeat the question because some, maybe some people didn't hear it. Wait, uh, this is y'all that, okay? I've tried to be a host and you don't like being interrupted. So They they saying I do. They saying, Your significant, they saying let me go. Do y'all want me to ask it again? Just no. in case. Just Your in case. significant okay. other, Your significant other has an opposite sex best friend who likes them romantically. Your significant other reasons that it's okay to remain friends because the feelings are not mutual and nothing inappropriate has happened. Do you agree and explain? Who's gonna answer first? Oh, holy fuck, I'll answer. Uh, so, holy shit. So- Your significant other has Listen, listen, stop listen. paying attention to the chat, stop squirming around, focus on me, okay? 
Your significant other has an opposite sex best friend. Okay, so you're not gay, you're a man. So your girl has a best friend that's a fucking guy, mm -hmm. right? And she argues that it's okay to remain friends because the feelings are not mutual. The, the man best friend, he likes her romantically. And the feelings are not mutual. Okay, you following me, horsey? So the feelings are not mutual and nothing inappropriate has happened. Do you agree with her decision to stay friends with a guy that likes her romantically? Yes or no, and explain the reason behind your answer. Do you need me to write you a fucking thesis after that? What do you need? I understand completely to the fullest, and I will okay. answer with my best ability. Um, I will say that I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I think that should be cut off because he's going to continue to try to cross that boundary and, you know, I feel like I trust my woman. Oh my but, God, stop saying I'm an ill man. But I feel I like... Don't, I, you don't like to be repeated, right? Let me finish this. I've said this shit three time. times. Okay. Sorry. I'm spitting, bro. Anyways, uh, I feel like, you know, my woman should not be continually put in a setting where she is disrespected. You know what I'm saying? Because I view that as disrespect. If my woman tells him, hey, look, I don't feel that way, and he continues to try to overstep that boundaries, because I know how niggas get. Yeah. It's a lot of times where niggas say, yeah, that's my friend. But if she were to be like, I'm trying to fuck you, he He's fuck. Gonna go for it. Yeah. He gonna fuck. So, you know, I don't really think that's appropriate, especially. But I will say this. I do offer the benefit of the doubt mm -hmm. when that individual has been around longer than me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. If that guy was around when she was a child and they grew up together, cool. But I feel like most of the time in those relationships... They don't feel that way about each other. They feel like brother and sister. Mm -hmm. Nobody really likes each other like that. So And nobody's related. Exactly. I hate so. the term brother and sister. Unless that is someone that's been like five plus years. I agree with you. Mm. I definitely feel like if... I don't, I don't know. I feel like it should be cut off. But it should be respect. If, it's, if you're not willing to cut it off, then... I should be introduced to your female friend. Yeah. She should be cool. If the vibe is not right, then you automatically know, oh, well, she doesn't respect me, then she doesn't respect us. So that means that she's going to continue to violate. And if you're okay with that, then I'm, I'm not okay with you. So definitely cut that bitch off. Mm. Cut that nigga off. Mm. Well, I dealt with it with a chick. Oh, here this nigga go. I, I dealt with a chick who had, like, a lot of brothers that, that like, brothers or whatever that she... Uh, knew for fucking 15 plus years and all of them still right. fucking flirted with her so I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. Right. That opposite sex shit dead. It a man is. and a woman can't really be friends. They can't. If there's attraction there, they can't. No, if there's attraction, they're not. And so if, if the bitch is bad, then that's it. That's that everybody's going to be attracted to her. I don't give a fuck how long y'all been friends. Mm -hmm. You might be friends with her for 10 years and then one day you look oh, at her and be cheers. like, damn, she got a fat ass. I'm not trying to hear that shit. Cheers to the first one, bitch. Mm. Cheers, chat, to the first blind date. It's not blind anymore, but... Mm -mm. I'm glad it's not blind no more. But anyways, you know... Zay! Do not do not pin that, Zay. Uh, sorry, you shit. You should start saying excuse me when you burp. Oh, no, that's the wrong person. Excuse to do me, that. my bad. Um, but yeah, though, like, have you ever dated outside your race? No. You haven't? I have... Frolicked with someone outside of my race. The but what kind never, of vocabulary is that? Frolic? We have never dated exclusively. We never fucked, but we frolicked. Like, we played around. It got close to fucking, but we didn't. Because I found out that he had a black baby mama with three kids. I don't got no kid. You got Sounds kids? like my kind of guy. Was he no white? Kids? Let's go, my boy! He was white. Black no, baby mama, know. three kids. No yes, kids. Yes, sir. My kids are my bills. I have a kid, though. I'm not going to lie. I thought you just said you don't have no kids. Yeah, no, I don't. I see you tatted, though. You know what I'm saying? I like the tats. They look good. That's the only two tats you got? My bar tat. Can oh, hell no. Nah. She's committed. What the fuck? My bar tat. Oh, yeah. You're a bartender for life. I have koi fish right here because of the meaning of koi fish. Look it up. I'm not going to um, explain it. My mom's name and a flower or a rose for her. I have a tattoo right here. I'm not going to. I'm not going to show it, but it's right here. And I have one under my ass cheek, too. It's my name in Arabic. SSW, come here now. 
And bring me a water bottle. Who? SSW. That's my servant. SSW? <laughs> you, should have, you should have a bell. If you have a servant. SSW! SSW. I have a servant. Because I've gotten to the point where, you know, the only reason why I'm staying with him is the fact that I like being in a place where, you know, there's other people in the crib for security reasons. You know what I'm saying? But I really could live in a $5 million mansion if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? SSW! But I made sure my servant came with me. SSW! Excuse me. You should fire your servant. I might! Come to the fucking room, yeah? Oi! That'll probably get him. Yeah. You should fire Oi, Mike! <laughs> That's Australian. Is this mic Same good shit. enough to pick up all three of our voices when we're all talking? Or yes, not? it does. It does. Oh, okay. It, okay. It's a microphone. Yep. I want to know what they're saying because... Baby, no, get closer. I'm, get closer. Let me see. Get closer. This is dysfunctional. <laughs> Too fast. I can't really read it. It's a little too much. Wait. Oh my God. Wait. Go to that chat. It's it's better. It's different. Yeah. Go right there. No. No. Stand up. <laughs> no. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck out of here. Ain't that up north shit? Fuck out of here. Um. Three hundred, please. She's reading all the negative comments. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't see none of your comments. Demon, I need that ass in my tongue. Oh God, yacht! You're hiding your beauty with them shades, baby. I got them. I got my toxic shades on. I'm sorry. So you're toxic? No, these are like the Brent Fire shades. Mm. So they're like, cause he's the toxic king. Okay. I'll take them off though. That's what you want. Mm. But I feel like my Brent lashes. Brent Fire is not so a toxic look, king. Future. You live down here now? I've been here for five years. Wow. Okay. Okay. And the light is really bright. Whenever I drink, my eyes get low. So I don't really like that because people be like, open your eyes and I get offended by that. So It's okay. No, nah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Um, You can see my beauty now, though. Mm -hmm. You can still see my beauty with the shades on. Don't do that. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. No, nah, you look good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But yes, I feel as though now it is time for challenges, okay? Cause I'm gonna direct this because Richard clearly is just he's no. Sick. Every time I try to say anything, they tell me shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. They do? It's okay, Richard. Why are y'all doing that? Let me direct this shit. Chat, y'all told me to take the wheel last time. Y'all told me I couldn't do it, so let me just take over this shit, real shit. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking at. All this stuff on the screen. Richard, are you okay? Oh, y'all no. heard he's leaving. No. He's leaving. Okay. So, how do you feel about dating an athlete, though? Like dating someone that's athletic or dating a professional athlete? I don't think I should ask that question because I'm not an athlete, so I don't know why the fuck I ask that. I don't know. Have you ever know. talked to a content creator before? No. No? Mm -mm. All right. I mean, that's cool. It's just one thing about me is everything is considered marketing, right? So, everything I'm doing is considered me trying to put on a show, right? But I get very serious, like off camera type shit. I'm a serious ass nigga. Like I'll be quiet, you know, I'll be to myself. And for me, I'm gonna be real. I'm not looking for anything serious right now unless I find that person that is serious about me and willing to work with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like everything that you're saying I resonate with and I understand I'm yeah. an artist. Yeah. So just because I bartend that doesn't mean that I don't know what comes with the life or whatever, because I'm a star. Yeah. And I'm gonna be You're gonna be big. Babe. Big star. So, mm, so, so you be you you be, you be that. singing. You say you don't really rap. You be singing. No, I'm, so R I'm an R and B singer. So you on your scissor shit? No, I sing for real. I'm more like. I don't like to compare myself to other artists, but genre wise, it's definitely R and B soul, like '90s R and B. Mm -hmm. um, I love Brandy. I love Jasmine Sullivan, Faith Evans. Uh, 
Kaylani is one of my favorites. She's my wife. I love her so much. Well, yeah, Kaylani cool. You know what I'm saying. Um, I love SZA, though, but I'm not really on, like, the melodic, auto-tune stuff. Yeah. Like, I actually perform live and go crazy. My voice is hoarse right now, but... Baby, it get like that. My Instagram, baby. It get like that. Okay. You so see? you be harmonizing on some shit. Got that. Yeah. That's cool. Melodies, yeah. harmonizing, ad libs, all of that. I write everything that I sing. Yeah. Music is my life, baby. That's me. Okay. Understand. I don't got that tatty yet, but it's coming. Got that. I fuck with that. I ain't gonna lie. I think you know my sister's a singer. You know she's in performing art school right now. She Love goes that. to um um. I perform at art school in DC, you know, because I'm from Maryland, so mm-hmm. it's right there. Uh, so she was doing opera for a minute, but now she's trying to decide what she want to do, like on some artist type that. shit. You know what I'm saying? Opera is so intricate, you have to be really talented to do that. Yeah. I want to talk about you saying that it's a red flag, but that's my babes. Mm hmm. Why is it a red flag? Uh, because I feel like, you know, like. That, red flags are serious. Right. I feel like it is a red flag. You know what I'm saying? Because for me, a lot of times... And I'm smoking it while he's saying it. Yeah, it's okay. You know, you smoking that, it just... Like, there is no positive, like, benefit of actually smoking a vape. Like, it just allows you to kind of cope. I'm going to be real. Like, just kind of like, you know, it's something that... It's true. Yeah. So, like, for me, I feel like... I'm all about breaking habits, you know, breaking bad habits specifically. And I feel like, you know, it's about mental health. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, at the end of the day. And I'm not saying that, physically like, I don't too, talk though. to people. Physically, yeah. too, because yeah. things don't affect your mental health. It affects yeah. your physical health. Yeah, it surely didn't affect your physical health. I'm going to be real, bro. Your shit tight. Well, I'm talking about the lungs. Oh, 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 I, oh, my bad, my bad. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. I'm talking about... Your lungs. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. But anyway, internal health. Yeah, yeah, internal health type shit. Um, but yeah, honestly, I feel like, you know, I feel like you could, sh- you should be able to quit. But I could never tell you that because I ain't never got a dip to base. Right. But I have had some bad habits that I had to break. And how hard were yeah. they to break? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They were hard to break. You know right. what I'm saying. So like, I feel like you know everybody's time is different. You know, you might break out of it soon, but for me, I just feel like. Right then and there, it's like, damn. But it ain't a deal breaker. Like, I could talk to Red somebody that's... are deal breakers. People no. Like, no. People? Let me... Okay, all right, my fault, my fault. I feel like red flags are deal breakers, but it just depends on, like, really whether you're going for it or not. Because mm. they can be detrimental. Yeah. But people choose to ignore them. Yeah. So, even though this is a red flag for you... Yeah. Cause you tolerate it. Or yeah, not. I can I'm tolerate. Not saying, it. I'm not saying with me. Just, I'm just saying personally. No, I can tolerate it. Yeah, I so. can tolerate it. Cause I feel like it's a lot of people that do it. Richard does it. Yeah. That nigga blows me with that shit. Yeah. And he throws one away every day. They're comes, bad. They're bad. He comes home with a new one every day. You know what I'm saying? So it's really bad. But fuck um, it. I need. I like to have them. Yeah. It's kind of. It. It's gotten to like a security blanket type thing, but. When I drink, I definitely need it. Because I used mm. to smoke hookah really bad. Oh, uh, so okay. I threw the hookah away. Yeah. Started smoking these. They we got hookah. Me. We got hookah here. Yeah. People just don't know how to make them. Like, when I go out, uh-huh. that's why I don't get them anymore. Because they be taxing for them, and it's not worth the price. It doesn't taste good. But that's why I do the vape. Cause so, I'm going to ask you a real question, though. Like, how you feel about that whole roster thing? You got a roster? I don't have a roster right now. I have had one. I don't have a roster right now. I had just recently got rid of it. Oh, you got rid of your roster? Just recently. Mm. So you're making the face like everyone has a roster all the time. Mm. Everyone doesn't always have a roster at all times. I had one, but I don't have one right now. Okay, cool. That's cool. You know, I don't really have one either due to the fact that my roster was in Maryland. You know what I'm saying? So when I just recently moved out here, so my, my it's clean slate. Right. You feel me? I was. And see, I can make the same face that he was making, but I didn't make it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've been out here for a month, so it's believable. Nah, baby, a lot. You think can I can? In a month. Okay. A lot can in a month. Understood. Not saying for you, but a lot can happen in a month. Understood that. Okay, that's cool. Can't pass judgment. That's cool. But yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I I got a, a clean slate. You know. Rosters are real though. Yeah. And I feel like after getting out of this recent situation that I was in, it's 
it can be security a lot another security blanket to have a roster because especially if you have someone at the number one top list of your roster and then they fuck it up it's like damn if they're the number one you're not really gonna fuck about nobody else it doesn't matter if it's five 15 whatever if you get rid of that whole roster for that number one person they fuck up you like god damn I don't have a roster anymore. So I don't know. It just really depends. depends. Alright, so look, we got ten fingers up, okay? Wait, I got a potty. Can I go potty? Potty is the vocabulary word you're using? Yeah. Okay. All right. Piss is not really Go to the potty. I'm gonna go potty. You can go to the potty. Because I've been drinking. Yeah, go to the potty. We got a potty. Good! But don't forget because go! I've been like